Hey guys, I'm Bobo the Vulture, and it's time for more Let's Play Rope Legs. Let's pick an heir. Sir Useless, the Barbarian King. Can't see very well. And he's big and heavy, so enemies don't knock him back. And he's got backs. Ah, uh, Lich King with tunnel vision. No peripheral vision. That could be an issue. We got a paladin here. So, no matter what, I'm going to have a vision condition. Let's try this one. I'm already afraid of what it will do. Hmm. What is the most expensive one I still have left available to me? <coughs> Fifteen twenty, but if I do that, I won't have a chance to upgrade anything else. Let's go for... Ninety... Yeah, what the heck. That maybe wasn't the best way to go either. Oh, that was equipment up. Well, of course, I'm not going to be able to do that much with equipment up. I can get a blood sword. It would reduce my low health, but I would gain back lots of life. And it would up my damage a little. That would actually reduce my armor rating. Let's put up my magic and lower my health again. Could just wear this cape now because hey. Or I could go back to that cape. And buy the blood limbs or the blood sword. Oh, I'm short five gold. <laughs> Wasn't that a peach? All the vampire items are going to be 500, aren't they? I could at least get this. It's better in every way. And I could put on that blood cape if I wanted to. I've got enough extra weight to do it. Now I'm at my weight max. Wait, did I pick the wrong hero? I picked the wrong hero, didn't I? Nope, I didn't. Whoops. Hit the skill switch and the kill switch. Sort of the wrong time there. I meant to hit my, uh, my, um, secondary weapon button, not my Oh well, you know what I'm saying. Come on by, my friend. going okay so far. I thought I had, uh, well, let's check out my character sheet. I'm colorblind. And I have tunnel vision. What is the tunnel vision doing for me? Perhaps I actually just literally do have tunnel vision and thus have not noticed its effects on me. Yeah, I got a critical. Uh, 
Now, well, hopefully this colorblindness isn't too irritating on everyone else's eyes. I know how I feel about it. Feels sort of good running around here, hopping around, taking out enemies. Whoa! Oh! You passed through that special passageway. Well, joke's on you. I'm already back up to max health. I am max health. I used to be able to walk. Well, darn. Right, I'm going to tank combat with you, Botus. Slash Bocevus. Slash Hank Williams Jr. Slash man who's ready for some football! Because I'm tired of being afraid of you. I'm not afraid. Maybe I should have been more afraid of that knight. Hmm. Oh, that's ridiculous. times have I said the phrase, all right, Doom Boss, in this particular Let's Play? I don't know. Tell you what, having uh, color blindness actually makes it very difficult. Reading your health bar. I wish to return there and go after that treasure, but I wish to go get some life first. That's not the ideal place to do it. A lot of interesting uh, little trick traps around here, aren't there? level zombie. Jeez, color blindness makes it really difficult to see enemies against the background depending on what their coloring is. You have to wait for them to start moving. Oh, I see. Jeez, that's hard to see in the map, too. Yay! It's a curse rune for my chest plate if I want to make things harder on myself. Whoa! Stat found MP increase plus 5. I'm getting all kinds of interesting new things. Uh. 
Come after me this way, bro. Fantastic. Things are going okay. So many flying projectiles around here. I have the choice of two different things that could hit me there. Whether I want to be hit by the bone or hit by the fireball. I don't know which one actually would have uh, done me any different in terms of life. There's literally nothing down there. Unless I was a smaller person and could sneak around that way. Journal entry number 20. I thought I knew what darkness was, but here in the dungeon, the darkness has a voice. It calls at me through grates and around corners and taunts me. The darkness is so thick, it's almost tangible, and the beasts here made it their home. They move swiftly through the corridors, and are more terrifying than anything I've fought before. I must be prudent and choose my battles carefully. Being confrontational now may cost me my life. It's true. It might just... I just do that. Oh, hey, the map's in color. Isn't that interesting? Well, rats. Not going up there at the moment. Oh. Need to trade off life and stamina there. I'd stop to regain it. So I guess, yes, even if you are a lich, um, vampirism will still have uh, an issue for you because it will still lower your cap that you can uh, steal life up to. Oh, I have full health now. Well, hey there, Land of Darkness. Let's Akit Azkigbaba. Actually, the place I want to go to is closer to here. Actually, no, it's closer to the boss chamber. Lost myself back down to low health again. Well, 
Ah, nuts. Infernite. Mastering mobility runes makes you awesome. I believe you, Sir Gouda the Third. You've always given me Gouda advice in the past. And you've made those same puns so many times. Doesn't matter. Oh well. So yes, that was starting to hurt my eyes anyway, so I suppose in a way I welcome death. Although, yeah, could have definitely done more with a with the Lich King run. Well, what are you going to do, though? They can't all be champions, right? It's okay. We'll get them next time, folks. Next life. <laughs> all right. Anyways, this is Boba the Vulture. This has been Let's Play Rogue Legacy. Thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see all of you next time. Bye now.